Hey guys, this is Fred from Fred's Tech Hub. In today's video, I'll be doing a camera comparison between the Techno Camon X Pro versus the Infinix Hot 6 Pro. The Techno Camon X Pro has a 16 megapixels rear camera and a 24 megapixels front facing camera, while the Infinix Hot 6 Pro has a 5 megapixels front facing camera and a 13 plus 2 megapixels dual rear camera. But before we begin, please likely hit that subscribe button to join the family and turn on post notification too so you'll be notified whenever I post any new video. And without further ado, let's jump into it. On the first image here, you'll notice that the Camon X Pro image has a little bit of contrast than the Hot 6 Pro. The Hot 6 Pro is trying to keep everything natural but at some point it's washed out. So I tend to like the images produced by the Techno Camon X Pro. This is a cartel light. Judging from the picture here, you'll notice that the Camon X Pro has a lot of details than the Hot 6 Pro. Even though they seem to look alike, but I, I still think the Camon X has a lot of details than the Hot 6 Pro. Then on this other image here, the Camon X Pro looks warm and oversaturated. I tend to like what the Hot 6 Pro is doing here, but it doesn't have that details which the Camon X Pro has. They're moving on to the flowers here. The Camon X Pro is so oversaturated and another problem with the Hot 6 Pro is that the sunlight is, seems to have much more effect on the images than the Camon X Pro. The image on the Camon X Pro looks pleasing to the eye, even though they look oversaturated, but I think Social media lovers would appreciate Camon X Pro camera over the Infinix Hot 6 Pro. This comparison will seem biased if I don't bring in a picture of a human. Because this is where you're going to see the skin tone effect and every other details necessary on a decent camera like these two devices. So if you look closely at these images here, you notice that there are good details on the Camon X and the Infinix Hot 6 Pro as well, but the Camon X Pro is oversaturated here while the Hot 6 Pro is struggling with color balance here, but they still maintain a lot of details. And if you look closely to this other one that I've zoomed in a bit, you notice that they still maintain their details. Even when I still push the zoom further, you still see a lot of details on both devices. So skin tone on both devices are very, very okay. To get High dynamic range right on a smartphone is not an easy fit these days, especially when it comes to low or mid range devices like this. But both devices are doing quite well. And judging from these images, even when I've cropped in a bit, they are still doing very well. The high dynamic range is intact, still clear. You see the sky very well, it's still blue on both devices. I have no complaint. But when it comes to low light images, both devices are still trying their best, uh, but I was expecting more from the Infinix Hot 6 Pro because of the dual camera, which should be able to capture more light. But to my surprise, the Techno Camon X Pro did a better job than the Infinix Hot 6 Pro when it comes to low light images. It pops out details very well and I was able to see everything clear enough than the Hot 6 Pro. I took some images with the front facing camera and I didn't really need to look at it further to know that the Techno was start ahead of the Infinix Hot 6 Pro because of the huge megapixels count on the Techno Camon X compared to the 5 megapixels on the Infinix Hot 6 Pro. The photograph on the Infinix Hot 6 Pro were a bit softer while the one on the Techno Camon X Pro has a lot of details to them and they were quite popping. I did a video test as well using the front facing camera on both devices. As you can see, Techno is start ahead of the Infinix Hot 6 Pro just because of the high megapixels count, which is a 24 megapixels front facing camera compared to a 5 megapixels on the Hot 6 Pro. It has a lot of details on it than the Infinix Hot 6 Pro. And high dynamic range on the Camon X Pro tests true to nature than the one on the Hot 6 Pro. I did a video test as well using the rear facing camera on both devices and again the Techno Camon X Pro takes the cake here. The pictures were sharp, they were contrast enough and overall details were there more than 
the Infinix Hot 6 Pro. I actually thought the Hot 6 Pro with the dual camera could perform better here, but it did not. So the 16 megapixels rear camera on the Techno Camon X Pro has a lot of details that the 13 plus 2 megapixels on the rear facing camera on the Infinix Hot 6 Pro. If you look at these two devices side by side, you'll notice that when it comes to picture quality and the video quality as well, they are not too far away from each other. The Infinix Hot 6 Pro being a low-end smartphone is trying very well keeping up with the Techno Camon X Pro. So whichever one you choose, you're not going to be disappointed in any sense at all. But it's just that the Techno Camon X Pro is a tad ahead of it just because it has lots of goodies than the Infinix Hot 6 Pro. Guys, let me know what you think about these two devices in the comment section below. Leave a like on this video if you like the video and please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.